Hey guys, my name is Daniel Mudeki and I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. Most importantly, I'd like to thank God for enabling us all to be here. You know guys, I always tell you that it is very important that we are careful to give thanks to God because we are not here because of our own strength or our own abilities, but simply because of the masses of God that are new every morning. Well, I'd like to say also thank you for all the support you guys have been giving me in the channel. And I'm happy that we are all learning and learning each and every day on how we need to live our lives. And so thank you guys. Keep the comments coming. I truly appreciate it. And uh, may God bless you. Well, guys, in today's topic, uh, I'd like us to talk about something that we mentioned last week. Last week we spoke about experiences. And we said that unevaluated experiences are rather useless. And so it's absolutely important that you evaluate your experiences. Well, today I'd like to talk about something else in regard to the same thing, experiences. And you know, I was studying a little bit this week and I came across something very, very interesting. And this is that your experience can hinder you from progression. Your experience can stop you from moving to the next level. You know guys, we all grew up being told and learning that experience is the best teacher. But I heard from a gentleman I always watch all the time, Dr. Miles Monroe, who said that we must be very careful with experience because experience can be a curse to some of us and sometimes it can be a blessing. You know guys, let me give you an example. There's a certain telecommunication company, which I'll not mention, that was one of the best brands when it came to the manufacturing of handheld products. These were mobile phones. And I believe probably 20 years ago, for those of us who were born, or 10 years ago, sorry, for those of us who were here and, move, and using mobile phones, I believe almost each and every one of you had this device, had this product, or has ever had this product. And so they did well for years. However, there was a time that things changed. And a different manufacturer came up with what we call today the touchscreen technology. But this big company in their boardroom meetings due to the experience they had due to the vast wealth of knowledge that they had in what they had done in the past decided that people can never move from quad pads people can never stop typing people want a mobile phone where they can physically see keys and buttons that they can press. And so they refused to develop, research, and introduce touch screen technology on their mobile phones. Well, they kept afloat for a while. But today as we speak, 2021, I believe less than 2% of my viewers today probably have that phone in their hands today. You know, their experience stopped them from seeing where change was taking things. Their vast experience in what they had accomplished and what they had done in the past stopped them from accomplishing what can be done. My friends, how many of you today, your life is what it is because of experience? I have never seen somebody do it like that. Oh, it has never been done. This is how we do it. We have never done it any other way. Let me tell you, my friends, sometimes your experiences will hinder you from progression. They will keep you where you are. They will stop you from growing and developing to the person you are supposed to be. And so the most important thing, my friends, we must do is that we must unlearn some things that we have learned. Some of us, our biggest curse 
is our previous success. Success of yesterday can be your biggest downfall for tomorrow. And so don't hold on to what you have done in the past because the past is the past. You must look into the future. And so the first most important thing to do is to unlearn what you have learned. What am I saying? Guys, we have something called a subconscious mind, okay? And the subconscious mind is the memory mind. It's the hard disk, if I must say that. It is where all your experiences, your thoughts, your memories are downloaded and stored. That is the behavior mind. A lot of things you do in your life, in fact, specialists have come to say that 95% of your life is not your conscious mind, but your subconscious mind. 95% of your life, you replay things that have been deposited into your subconscious mind. And so can you imagine if what you have deposited is wrong? Can you imagine if what you have deposited is false? If what you have deposited is self-destruction, then that plays 95% of your life. And so that's what I mean when I say we must unlearn what we have learned. Sometimes the most important thing for you to do is forget. Because you cannot move on unless you learn new things in new ways. And so my friends, I'll tell you, experience is good. You can refer to your experience once in a while, but don't let your experiences control you. Don't let your experiences govern you. Don't let your experiences be your reason for making decisions. I'll give you another story in the Bible. I remember when uh, Peter and his uh, fellow mates had been fishing the whole night. You know, they were out looking for fish at the same spot where they looked for fish the whole night, but came back empty-handed. And in the morning, they were very dejected and they were looking so low. And Christ asked them, hey guys, what's up? Where have you been? You know, he said, we have been fishing the whole night and got nothing. And Christ told them, Go back to the same spot where you were yesterday. Go back to the same spot and fish. You know, Peter told him, last night we've been there, the whole night, Jesus, and we've got nothing. You know, how many of you today in your life have already concluded that certain things will never work? Why? Because you tried it and it did not work then. How many of you have made decisions that this thing is not for me? Why? Because you tried it at a certain time and it did not work. One thing you must understand, there are some things we do which are right but at the wrong time. And so meaning they will produce negative experiences. That does not mean that that is the truth about that thing. What it means is that probably the timing was wrong. Some of you are unmarried today because you once dated a man or a woman who destroyed your idea of a relationship. Today women walk around, some of them, saying that men are dogs because there's a man who destroyed your life. There's a woman who destroyed your, your relationship idea. And so your experience is hindering you from progress. You opened a business, it flopped. And you said you'll never try a business again. Your experience is hindering your progression. As I've mentioned, my friends, sometimes we were out of timing. Sometimes we had the wrong people around us. Sometimes we had the wrong implementation strategies. And so our experiences were negative. And today, that's why I want to tell you, my friends, do not allow your experiences to hinder your progression. Do not allow your experiences to hold you back. You know what Peter told Jesus Christ? He told him, Lord, if you say I should go back, I'll go back and check it out. And so they took their boats and went back to the same spot. 
where they had got nothing the previous night. The scriptures say that the fish they got were so many that they almost capsized their boat. And they had to call other fishermen. Guys, come, there's too much fish. That is even more than we have, than we need. My friends, he decided, despite being there a whole night, that he will try it again. And so we must be very careful about experiences. As I said earlier, you can refer to your experience, but don't let it govern you. Don't let it control you. Some negative experiences have brought fear into your life and stopped you from doing anything. They have kept you in your comfort zone and you're missing out on life. And some positive experiences, such as yesterday's success, have kept you from achieving your true potential. And so you become comfortable thinking, I have made it. I am good. This is how it's done. I don't want to explore. And so my friends, let us not hold on to experiences as tightly as some of us are doing. Refer to them, yes, but don't let them govern you. You need to be open-minded. You know, a simple example is when I go out for, way before, like in the past, I used to be one guy who, if I go out with my wife, I'll order one thing and one thing alone. Today, tomorrow, the next day, the day after next. And one day I asked myself, could I be missing out on other things? Could I be missing out on specials that probably in a restaurant? But because I only use my experience and I let it govern me, then I only know one meal. And one day I decided, you know what? I tell the waiter, give me your favorite dish. Your favorite dish on the menu, bring it to me. That's what I'll have. And I'm telling you guys from that day, I have been experiencing different kind of meals. Some I haven't liked, true. But some now have become my signature dish. Some now are those that I only want to have because they're so good and it's an experience I never thought I'd have. And so don't let your experiences control you. You can refer to them, but don't let them control you. Don't let your experiences give you a blanket decision about everything. Men are dogs. Women are cheats. Marriage is bad. Relationships don't work. Businesses always flop. As we said last week, evaluate your experiences. Then you'll be able to make change in your life. And so, as the large mobile phone company we were talking about, they refused to let go of the experience. They refused to adopt a new way of thinking. And they were left behind by changing times. One guarantee, my friends, you must have today is that change is a must. Change is a must. The only constant in life is change. And so if you remain seated at one point, if you remain rooted to your experiences, and let them govern you, then you miss out on quite a lot. And so my friends, I want you to think about it. You know, David in the Bible was a breath of fresh air. The Israelites had been at war for 40 days trying to defeat Goliath seated somewhere, shaking and afraid, wondering how they'll defeat him. But here came a breath of fresh air, a new experience. You know, Saul had tried to make David go and fight with his armor and with his sword because Saul was using his experience of battle. He was using what he knows, telling him, you must wear my armor, you must use my sword to go and defeat Goliath. But David was completely unable to use those things. And he used a sling and a rock. You know, Goliath was expecting a well-seasoned warrior to fight him. 
a swordsman, the best in Israel. But a young man, a shepherd boy, defeated him with a sling and a rock. Sometimes your experiences will hold you back. Sometimes your experiences will stop you from thinking about something in a different way or a different light. And so don't hold on too much to your experiences. Be open-minded, willing to listen, willing to learn, and willing to unlearn some things that have kept us from becoming who we are meant to be. Guys, if you have not watched last week's video on evaluating your experiences, go and watch it. Because then it will make sense even when you watch this one. But you must evaluate your experiences. Once they're evaluated, you can refer to them. But never let your experiences govern your life. Because then you will be a prisoner of the present. You will never progress. And so guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really humbled and I pray that you go home with something today that you've learned and that you'll implement in your life. Okay? Don't let your experiences imprison you from progression. And so, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free, click the subscription button. Remember the notification bell right up there. It's important to click it so that you don't miss out on any new video that we post. New video every Sunday. And remember guys, like the videos as well. Because the more you like the videos, the more YouTube recommends them to other people. Hence, we'll be sharing the word far and wide. Until next time, may God bless you, may he keep you, and may he shine his face upon you. Take care guys, and God bless.